that we've been tracking are the power outages across our area, including in Anderson County. We are just now getting word that at least 30,000 outages. That's between Blue Ridge Co-op and Duke Energy in Anderson County. Yeah, and just for context, that's 25% of Anderson County without power right now. And in addition to what's happening this morning so far, we've seen in Anderson County trees down from earlier in the week, just from yeah. the storms we saw from that cold front earlier this week as well. As the rain continues mm -hmm. to fall, our Isabel Merrick is actually joining us live right now from Anderson County. What do you have? for us, Isabel. Aaron Destiny, yeah, let's start with those power outages that you were mentioning. We are in downtown uh, Anderson right now. You can still see that there is light at the moment, but even before we set up our live shot here, they have been flickering on and off. We've seen some of these uh, stoplights struggling to stay, to keep power and flickering on and off and then going back to normal. So we are anticipating, you know, there could be a power outage here if it continues to go like this, we're seeing some of that flickering. We're also seeing, you know, on our way up here into Anderson, we saw some tree limbs falling onto power lines. So that is definitely a concern here. I talked to the city official. I mean, it's just blinked right there five seconds ago. If you guys were able to see that, it's been blinking on and off kind of all morning here downtown with the power. Um, talked to city officials and they say Belton is an area of concern as well. Um, so they're keeping an eye out on that and obviously trying to keep power on for as well, as long as they can here in Anderson County. Let's move on to kind of the weather and how it's been looking. We were in this exact spot pretty much yesterday. We, I've been covering here Anderson County since yesterday with this storm and that was with the cold front like uh, Perella and Destiny were mentioning that that was before even Helene had come here to the upstate. Now we're seeing that front of Helene back up here with the rain and the wind and the flooding. We've had, you know, that the flash flooding warnings here in Anderson County. We had it first until 630 and then we got another one not too long ago saying that it was extended until 9 a.m. And you can we can definitely feel it here in downtown seeing all of this water just flowing down the sidewalk and also in the road. And I'm going to even just step out here and just to kind of show y'all like what we're dealing with at the moment. I was kind of under a canopy here, but yes, lots of pelting rain, lots of wind, lots of flowing water here in downtown Anderson. And we're just going to continue to keep y'all updated as this continues to strengthen here. Um, we're feeling those winds for sure too that that I heard uh, Perella and Chris mentioning all morning here in Anderson. Been strengthening since we've been out here. We've been out here since about 2 a.m. So we're feeling definitely a lot of that wind. But for now, we'll keep you updated here in Anderson County. But for now, live in Anderson, Isabel Marek, WIFF News 4. Yeah, Isabel, thank you again. According to our weather team, 68 mile per hour wind gusts out there, you know, significant issues all across our area. We do want to take a look at the Peace Center sky cam as well. We've been covering Greenville County too. Mm. And as you can see, though, that rain's still falling. We've been keeping a close eye, not just on the on the Reedy and not just on Falls Park, but also those areas that flood Unity Park, mm -hmm. AJ Wittenberg, that general area as well. Yeah, as well as the Conestee Dam. Mm -hmm. Actually, our Peyton Furtado, she's been following that story uh, from the very beginning, and she's uh, joining us now live in Greenville County with the latest at 6.50. 43 this morning, Peyton. Good morning, Destiny. Good morning, Aaron. We're getting to that time where we're having to spread our stance so that we can stay strong as the winds are coming through. Can't stand up straight like this. No, sir, we're going to have to do a lunge. Let's take a look at some of the wind we're seeing behind us over here. You can see some of the trees getting battered around behind us. The rain is coming in like there's no tomorrow. We're seeing the wind go across the pathways right now. Now, this is a street that's been shut down, and it's been shut down for very good reason. I'm going to show you exactly with our handy dandy flashlight here. Let's take a look. Oh, just over the bridge. Yep, that water is not normally that high. You're right. The water's normally about a foot high here on the Reedy River. This is nearly 11 feet high. If it gets up, I'm talking just inches more, just inches more. It is going to breach this road. We are going to get out of here before then. Uh, let's take a look at the water down here. Yeah, we're already seeing some of that water breach some of the bridge down here. Now this is kind of the downtown area. Here comes the wind. It's coming close to the District West Apartments and uh, close to Unity Park. We're seeing the wind pick up. We're seeing the rain pick up. Uh, now one of the big things about the Reedy River, it flows into a lot of our particular area here in Greenville County and batters up right against the Conestee Dam. We were here there earlier this morning, had to get out of there because it was low lying ground and needed to get it to a safer spot. Conestee Dam, it's a 130 year old dam. It wasn't built to be here that long and uh, it's being replaced right now, but uh, a major weather event 
could burst it from what we've heard from officials. Here comes another one. Woo. All right, we're going to we're going to lunge right here so that we stay in place. Some strong winds here. We're seeing some branches flying around. Make sure you're staying inside if you can. Make sure you're not driving in this weather if you can. Here comes another one. Make sure you're not going out for a walk. You're not trying to do anything that you don't necessarily have to do. These are some very strong winds. Let's take a look at the trees over here. Let's take a look down here. Harrison, right over here. Oh my God. Woo. Blowing the rain jacket right off. You can see the rain being swept sideways across this road in downtown Greenville. Now keep in mind, we've been told by the downtown, the Greenville County Emergency Management System. Oh my gosh. Stay strong, Harrison, you got it. We've been told that this could be fair game for flooding, for down power lines, for down trees. Try to stay away from any areas where we're seeing a lot of water, where we're seeing a lot of trees in the area. If you see standing water, turn around, don't drown. We're going to head back to the car now, get out of some of this wind because we could see a tree or a down power line any moment with this. For now, live in Greenville County, I'm Peyton Furtado for WYFF News 4.